all right so what's up guys um today i'm still i'm still going through the tom fox drawing book a little just the anatomy book but i kind of stepped away from it just this sort of um i started looking into these uh morpho books and stuff just like hands and feet and stuff i've been drawing trying to draw like hands hands and stuff up recently because i feel like you know i've just been having slight issues i feel like sometimes when you whenever you think of things that you want to draw <laughs> like say you want to draw a scene of like you know whatever sort of hand motions or you just want to draw a character like you know with their hands like you know because the hands are very uh good for um you know they're very gestural so you know you should always study um you know hands feet also they're important especially when you want to draw shoes but so today i want to talk about a different book right it's a book that wherever i go i always sort of like gravitate back to this book like it doesn't matter if i'm doing the tom fox book or whatever if i'm looking in the bridgman book or i'm looking in the loomis book or i um you know, I just have a bunch of drawing books. <clears throat> this is an artist I always come back to. And the sleeve <laughs> is over there. But this book is Dynamic Figure Drawing by Bern Hogarth. This is the hard cover. I also had the soft cover too, but I had to get the hard cover. Um, nice green, right? <clears throat> Dynamic Figure Drawing by Bern Hogarth, right? So the reason why I wanted to make a video about this book today is because I literally, just like with the Tom Fox book, like I see a few videos on the Tom Fox book, but literally um, with the, the Burn Hogarth books with the, he has a whole series like dynamic head drawing, dynamic figure drawing, dynamic anatomy, dynamic uh, fabrics. And I also have his um, <coughs> drawing drawing board drop but drawing dynamic hands <laughs> by Bern Hogarth but um this is a book I actually want to get into maybe after the morpho book just because the methodology is a little different in this book rather than the morpho book um but he has he's such a prolific you know drawing book artist like he did the Tarzan illustrations or whatever, and I think he was like a teacher for a while, but I feel like his series of books is just the most, um, it just covers so much. And then um, his style is so distinct, you know? So um, I just wanted to sort of jump into this book a little bit, just like with the Tom Fox drawing book, just sort of talk about this book, because this is, after I get into understand the anatomy and everything that's like in a Tom Fox book, then I would jump, maybe jump over to a book like this and I'm gonna show you why. Because, you know, let me show you. I wish they had the Tom Fox book. I wish he had a hardcover, but it's a newer book. But even like with these, this illustration right here, like it's just so, um, the way he renders it, the this middle figure, and then how he, this is this is pro maybe like the best illustration in the entire book. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, because he like literally breaks down everything into line and shape that he's doing right here. Because a lot of the figure drawing stuff in this book is very like hyper rendered and uh, charcoal, but he does a lot of this like line and uh, you know this ink uh, pen drawing. You know, because, you know, especially like with the comic stuff, like this was something, this was sort of like a style that was very uh, distinctly comic, comic book, you know. So even like, you know, these illustrations with the head, <clears throat> it's just like, I would say before you jump into the Hogarth book, which I'm, you know, this is what I'm telling myself, I want to be able to understand anatomy first before I jump into Hogarth dynamic drawing book dynamic figure drawing book because he he speaks of the anatomy but it's more 
simplified and he covers up mostly the surface anatomy he doesn't really go into the bones that much he doesn't really go into the individual muscles that much he doesn't really break it down that much but you'll see the way he puts it together it's so stylistic and so it's sort of like you know as much as they but oh yeah learn how to form drawing he's like a, a master at just form drawing and bringing that the form to life so this is what a lot of illustrations in this book are going to look like right charcoal <clears throat> it's mostly going to be charcoal drawings and ink drawings but they're going to be rendered <coughs> <clears throat> they're going to be rendered it's not really going to break down the individual that much but as you can see like this is perfect this is a perfect um just embodiment of burn hogard you know barrel shape um torso you know the narrow pelvis narrow waist muscles <laughs> you know what i'm saying musculature <laughs> um and i see when people the few places i see people i like talking about Bernard hogarth's books online they sort of criticize his style of anatomy um which that's why i'm like maybe i would study uh even like the morpho anatomy book first before i jump into this because he does stylize the anatomy like these abdominal muscles like just up they're huge <laughs> you know but the thing about it the, the thing i feel like people don't understand when they when they look at this they're like oh you know it just looks crazy is that it's a distinct it's like a statement you know so whenever you want to draw it from any angle you know if you want to draw looking up looking down these are the def definite shapes that if you're if you're trying to draw from memory or if you're trying to invent it's easier to invent if you're thinking of the abdomen as six ovoid shapes rather than like you know these uh intricate surface shapes that you you know you're not going to remember how this little um how i don't think i think it's harder to to invent when things are smaller and more intricate like <clears throat> You know, especially you got to think about what purpose are you are you trying to draw? Are you trying to draw for one to one realism or are you trying to draw to express a style, you know, to, ha to, to create a statement? You know, this is even though this is like there's no there's words at the bottom, but this is a statement of. Bern Hogarth. This is his, uh, you know, I'm sure he probably looked at thousands and thousands of anatomy illustrations, or he, or even when he had a teacher, they showed him a bunch of, you know, anatomy books and illustrations, and he practiced and practiced. But this is at the end, this is who he is. Like I explain it, I explain the way I think of it is like that's like you are that's like the, when people try to find their style right that's sort of trying to find the shape of your brain like literally finding your style is literally the same thing as trying to find out which how how the shape of your brain is different from how someone else's brain is shaped like you know do you understand like that's sort of something that you can't really explain so if you see something an illustration like this and you gravitate towards it but someone else looks at it and they're like you know i don't know this sort of looks like uh too bulky you know i don't like the barrel shape you know i don't really like the the way that the the um abdominals is is i don't like the way how it's you know wedged into this uh rib cage shape you know i don't like the shape of the rib cage. i don't like the shape of, of the uh pectoral the pectoralis you know i don't like the shape of the 
biceps. I don't like the, you know, whatever. <clears throat> You're not, you know, that's totally fine. You shouldn't feel bad for feeling um, opposed to something like this. But every time I open up this book, I'm always drawn in. <clears throat> it's like every time. Every time I open up uh, any of Bernard Hogarth books, like even, <clears throat> even an anatomy book, in the beginning, it's a, it's, a, it's like you're gonna be reading until like page eighty of like uh, art history. Like the anatomy doesn't start until like page eighty. But the thing about it is, I appreciate that. That's when I open up those, open up any of his books. I appreciate his style and I appreciate his execution, and I appreciate um just the the reason of why he's even doing this right so that's like even with this he he does break down some things into some schematics of you know sort of like in the Bridgman book where he in the beginning pages it's like blocks that you're just turning and twisting around but you know obviously his is a little different you know but when usually when you look into this book everything is like usually rendered <coughs> excuse me usually rendered in some sort of way but I just don't see anyone really talking about this, right? Like it's, even though I wouldn't necessarily call it like realistic, but realistic really, but it's so, it captures the form so well. And, um, and just his style is so distinct. And so, um, you know, you know, it's so, um, I don't know. It's, it, it's sort of like it's an it's sort of like a I wouldn't even know what word I would use to describe his sort of style. Sort of a stylistic realism. Like I can I can imagine these form I can actually imagine these forms being real. You know, knowing that they're not real, but just just the way he illustrates. I can imagine these forms being real, having real, you know, um, shape to them, right? So that's usually what I'm looking, whenever I'm looking into Bernard Hogarth's, any of his books, I'm not necessarily looking in like, oh, you know, I'm gonna just sort of copy all his illustrations, then I'll be able to draw. I don't think that's necessarily true. I feel like that, if I understand the anatomy, if I understand what he's trying to portray with these, with these, um, what he's trying to portray with these, um, the, with the way he draws, like, you know, whatever the hamstring, calves, you know, it looks like he really is, um, indicating that bone of the, what is that, the femur? I mean, not the femur. That's the knee, but I'm talking about like this, this bone right here. Um, I might be wrong about that, <laughs> but um, uh, you know, people like to say he doesn't, you know, he doesn't necessarily cover the bones, but I feel like he covers those landmarks. You know, like if you, if you look at these knees, those aren't muscles; those are the ends of bones, right? So you got to think like this bone is going all the way up here. This is the pelvis right here. So those. This, these are bones right here in the pelvis and then the ankles are also bones <clears throat> so you know he really um a lot of times he'll render like this but sometimes he'll sort of exaggerate those those the sharpness of those shapes so you know because it's easier to study geometrical form before you go into just trying to render everything so that's all I'm like I would definitely look in this book for those geometrical studies, like even with the palm, it's like a, um, it's like a, a rectangle, you know, like a box, like a wedged box, or even like the, sh the, the, I was about to call them shoes, the feet, they kind of look like shoes, like horseshoes or something like that. You know, he's sort of, and he gives you those geometrical shapes. You know, and this one I'm talking about like, with these illustrations where it's like you could tell that he's indicating bone, 
right here, right there, there and there. They're huge, but you know, uh, I would definitely feel like this is an essential book for any person, any artist who is um, self-teaching. But this isn't a book where you can just skip, you know, any sort of anatomy knowledge. You know, especially studying, I, I completely think that you should study those muscles and things individually. <clears throat> That's why I like the, the Tom Fox book or even like the Morpho Anatomy book. But this is just great just for overall understanding of figure drawing. He goes into foreshortening, you know, invention. He does like crazy illustrations like these where he like draws the figure in a pose, but then draws a, a, a bunch of variations of the figure you know in um within the same pose and he's also talking about how he would start with the barrel with the uh, no with the with the see what i'm going through right so figure notation deep space right so the most important part would be the these two shapes right the barrel shape of the chest of the uh, chest and then the that wedge box shape of the pelvis saying that the legs are secondary right legs are secondary because you can pose the chest and the pelvis in, in any sort of way the legs come after just to support those two shapes um then he says the arms are third in importance so you would do the pelvis I mean the the rib cage pelvis legs and then the arms like that's and then the last thing will be the head that's even flipping the just the order that a lot of artists draw in, like completely flipping it on its head. It's like you're draw. I'm gonna draw the chest first, and then the pelvis, and then the legs, then the arms, and then the head. Like you know, where does that? You know, how does that make sense? But then that's that is how he can create these sort of. <clears throat> crazy poses and um <clears throat> and that's just sort of his that's when people talk about methodology that's just his methodology behind how he draws right so you can draw in any way that you want and you come up with any reasoning to draw however whichever way that you're drawing but if you want to adopt a uh, artist especially a legendary artist like Bern Hogarth you know He's drawing the chest, you know, he's, he, he has, um, a list of importance with drawing the figure and then in deep space, you know, I'm just gonna flip through it a little faster. Talking about drawing the figure in deeper space, how it's like, you know, he's drawing the leg going up to the torso, you know, just stuff like that. And then you can, once you understand, I feel like once you understand anatomy and just, you know, whatever basic figure drawing, I would, I would, um, recommend morpho books a lot when it, you know when you're thinking of burn hogarth um but yeah amazing books for just you know deep space um foreshortened you know hyper rendered figures you know has a lot of schematics this is what i'm talking about where he'll draw like something in one pose and it'll show you like all the different ways you can invent and change it and switch it around that's what you should always be thinking of whenever you're um drawing things like that but i wish more people covered a book like this you know it's an amazing book even like these aren't this illustration right here is amazing you know just for reference you know he has a bunch of you know, just sort of explaining to you how he thinks about, you know, figure projection. You know, drawing the lines and being able to keep the same sizing of all the all the figures, um, parts. You know, same pose, reverse um, projection. Even goes into like projection. I've never, I haven't, I've never heard that term until. I, so I opened up a Bernard Hogarth book. 
just projection and then reverse projection. Like these two are, have the same contour drawing around them, but it's just, what I, you know, what he's drawing on the inside is pushing it away and then pulling it towards you. It's crazy. These, all these are the same silhouettes, also the same contours, but you see how you could just flip it. And that's like a great way to just, it's always good to like never just be boxed in to how you draw um, anything. You should always be thinking of ways to just improve, especially when you're drawing more and more complex things, you know, especially like the figure, the figure is very complex. But yeah, that's, um, Dynamic figure drawing by Bern Hogarth. I'll probably get back to the to the Tom Fox book soon, but I really just wanted to make a good video on this book. So see you guys later.